PowerPoint it is an excellent tool for teaching and learning processes. PowerPoint has number of capabilities that can be used effectively and we can make an excellent teaching learning material also video lectures you can animate 2d objects you can animate 3d objects in powerpoint you can develop 3d figures 2d figures you can do sequence of animations and you can record that sequence and we can show complete process in suppose any experiment so powerpoint has excellent ability to develop animations in this lecture i am going to draw electrical circuit using resistance inductor capacitor and battery and this circuit will be drawn using powerpoint number of teachers require electrical circuits in their lectures they have problem in drawing that electrical circuits in powerpoint but here it is very easy to draw such a simple electrical circuit using powerpoint for this purpose no coral draw is required so data starts here our demonstration of drawing electrical circuit for this purpose take a blank slide and check whether this slide has rulers gridly grid lines or guides if there are no guides grid lines on this slide simply go in view and check these boxes so if we uncheck this you will get slide without any line or ruler so here ruler so this gives you scale of the slide grid lines we get horizontal and vertical grid lines so we get graph like structure by default we get here 2 cm gap between successive grid lines either horizontally or vertically if we use click here check here guides so here 0 0 we get horizontal line and vertical line these are axes of this graphical slide now these lines and guides act as reference point reference lines so using this you can draw any shape within scale now first we will draw inductor so i will draw first inductor means inductive coil so how can we draw that inductive coil it is drawing shape so i have to use shapes in the drawing so for that purpose go in insert menu here we have shapes click here shapes and here we have lines and in lines we have number of lines you can choose any of these lines but to draw inductor we have to choose this that is curve line so just click on this you will get plus sign come here press left button of the mouse and drag it and release button of the mouse now to come out of the line double click left button of the mouse so i got line here 
Now this is thin line. So arrange it along one grid, horizontal grid line and you can change its width of line. For that purpose go in format menu. Here we have shape fill, shape outline, shape effects. So I have to change width of line. So click here, we will get drop down menu. Here weight of line, you can take any weight here. So I have taken here three point. So this line has three point thickness. Now I have to convert this line into inductor. So how can we do this? So we can edit this line. For that purpose we have here edit shape option. So click just on edit shape and click on edit points. Now if we see at the line here I got two black squares at the end of line and at both the ends of line. These are called edit points. Now if we click on line anywhere and then right click and add point, you can add edit point. Just move this here. You can add edit point here. So add edit point on every horizontal grid line. So you can add successive points here. Now let us take this point. You can move this point here. So upper up to upper horizontal grid line. Now you can just click here, right uh, left click here and drag down up to lower grid line. Here you can click and drag here. Here you can click and drag here. Here you can click and drag here. So go on doing this. So I am doing this. So I have done like this. Now arrange these points properly with respect to grid lines. So now I have arranged these points. Now here if we see, I have selected this point, we see these squares and these lines. Actually these lines represent tangent to the curve at that point. So here if I click on any grid point, here I have add point, delete point, so you can delete point also. Here we have smooth point, straight point, corner point. So click here smooth point. So here this tangent will be straight line and it will touch the point here. So simply make it horizontal. Here also right click on this grid point, choose smooth point and make it horizontal. Here also smooth point and make it horizontal. So for every point we have to take smooth point here. And we have to make it horizontal.
so here it is like sine curve and if we take separation between two peaks it is two vertical grid line separation that is 4 cm so i have adjusted according to that and separation between this lower peak and upper peak it is 2 cm so now it is generally symmetric one so adjust it properly now i have to convert this into coil so simply come on this first grid point click here now these are two end points of a tangent these squares just press left button of mouse on this square and drag it and rotate and you can change its length so make it equal to 4 cm so 2 cm on this side and 2 cm on this side means up to that separation between two grid lines come here again you can rotate this and make this proper now again rotate this make this proper again rotate this make this proper again rotate this make this proper now come at the bottom here also make same same length and tangent must be horizontal one now here so you can take this point somewhere here adjust this again adjust proper sorry go to edit points again and now this one I got set now just compress it So I got coil. So I will place that coil here. Now I have to draw the resistance. Now procedure is same again. Go to insert in shapes. Again take curve line. Press left button of the mouse drag it up to certain grid line release it by double clicking so I got this now here again I can change width of the outline so now it is three point adjust it properly with horizontal grid line so same as inductor go here and select grid points again i got same one so i can add edit points on the line so i have added two edit points now here make this here now you can move this here same like coil 
two grid line separation between upper peaks and lower peaks So here these points you have to choose as corner points and not smooth points so now adjust these tangents simply so you can adjust like this so this and this they must match now adjust this like this and this tangent like this so adjust tangent in such a way that it looks like straight line similarly here adjust this so you have to adjust properly only So for this adjustment, grid lines are important. If you do not take grid lines, it may take uh, more time to adjust. Make it horizontal. You can take up to here and make it horizontal. Since it is corner point, it becomes a corner proper. Here, it looks like curve one. So we can change this. The tangent must be along the line. Then and then you will get straight line. So now, just drag it, uh, compress it, I got resistance. So I got inductor, I got resistance, now I can draw LCR circuit. So now this is L, this is R, to draw capacitor I require only two vertical lines. So go in insert. You can take line, just I have drawn this line, change its width, just copy this by using Ctrl C and Ctrl V, paste it and place here. So place according to scale. Now here we have to draw circuit so we have to make connections so take line change its width place here now just copy this line take here now I am copying this by simply pressing control key and going on the shape and dragging it Now, just I will rotate this line and 
जस्ट मोर I can take this line. I can copy this and paste, and I will rotate this by 90 degree. Okay. Now I will make circuit for charging uh, and discharging of LCR circuit. Means DC LCR circuit. So here. So I can take up to this. Just copy this. This is place two for battery. Now here, I will use symbol of battery. So just take these two, copy here and take here, and decrease size of one. So it is very easy to draw. arrange them properly now here i can put a two way switch for that purpose i will make slide arrangement here arrow option is there i will go to mon arrow and a end point of line i will take this yeah, it comes on this side so A and arrow type start arrow type I will go here so I got this point similarly here begin arrow type this one so I got so I will control Z it this is A and arrow type I will get here and for this you can use again A and arrow type I got here so I have to just take it down so flip vertical now here for switch again I will use same so this is switch so it can connect here or it can connect here so if it is connected here battery will come on in this circuit and capacitor will go on charging through inductor and resistor if it is disconnected from this point and connected here battery is out of circuit and uh, capacitor will be discharged through resistance and inductor so i will make arrangement for on and off of switch so here first I will give names so I can use here point A I can give name here point B Here, this is battery of EMF E. So, I will give notation here E. Then, I will give notations for L. 
so I, I will use text box to give names so L then I can have C and then I can have R so now this is LCR circuit now I can take here I will call this as K that is key two way key so now this is simple LCR series circuit it is DC circuit you can draw AC circuit also using same one circuit I have drawn in next lecture I will show you how to on off this switch how to show the direction of current charging of capacitor and discharging of capacitor that one will be shown in next video lecture now if you like this presentation I request you to subscribe my channel thank you very much also press like button thank you